Chris here with High Seas Cruising and welcome to today's video. All right, one of the things I don't like about the internet, people putting information out there, is a lot of times they put false information. They give people false hope. They give absolutely wrong information. And whether they know it or they don't know it, they believe it or they don't believe it, there are people out there that are lying about what is going on in cruising. Just blatantly giving the wrong information. So I want to set some of that straight today. And what I'm talking about is Royal Caribbean's health and safety protocols. So I was going through some message boards and stuff yesterday, and I saw a lot of people claiming that Royal Caribbean has lifted the vaccination requirements that they no longer require the vaccine. And at least as of today, that is absolutely not true. That is complete false information. So I want to set the record straight, let you know exactly what Royal Caribbean's health and safety protocols are as of today, and let you know of where they may be going based on information Royal Caribbean has put out. But they have not lifted the vaccine requirement, and that is the most important thing I want to get out there. That way people aren't booking cruises and thinking they're going to go on cruises that they may not be able to go on. Um, save you some time. I want to save you some money and make sure you have the correct information. So these changes are on their website. Now you can go over there and take a look and they go into effect August the 8th. Now these current protocols are from August the 8th to August the 14th. Only that few days right there, only that one week. And then they say there may be additional changes after the 14th. I can speculate what those changes might be. But as of right now, these are just the facts and they are from the 8th through the 14th. All right, so important update. Starting with August 8th, 2022 departures, we will revise our testing requirement for most U.S. sailings. Fully vaccinated guests will only have to show a test result at boarding if the sailing is six nights or longer. Unvaccinated children will still need to show a test result to board all sailings regardless of length. However, they will not need to test again at the terminal. Guests will now have the same test standard regardless of vaccination status. You can show a negative test result from a supervised PCR or antigen test taken within the three days before boarding day. This revision does not apply to guests whose itinerary visits Canada or Bermuda. They will still need to follow our current testing protocols until further notice. Our current protocols will remain in place through August 7th, 2022 departures. We are continuing to work with our destination partners to evolve and finalize other travel protocols as we begin transitioning to the point where everyone will be able to vacation with us. We look forward to providing more updates in the coming days. So that's directly from Royal Caribbean's website. Those are the changes that Royal Caribbean has made. As you can see on there, nowhere on there does it say that they have done away with the vaccination requirements. And that's the part I want to make it real clear to everybody because I want to stop these stories that are going on on the internet and, you know, try to knock off this false information. Now, what changes they're gonna make after the 14th? Well, right now that's a little bit of speculation and this is what Royal Caribbean said to travel agents to let them know for their clients that are booking after the 14th. This is what Royal Caribbean said. For those clients booked after August the 14th, 2022, please await the specific protocol details from us related to those sailings. So that kind of hints and indicates that there may be some changes coming after the 14th. We just don't know exactly what those are yet. Now, Michael Bailey, the president and CEO of Royal Caribbean, he has hinted, you know, in some of his speeches that they will be moving towards allowing more unvaccinated passengers to sail on board the ships. And this is what Michael Bailey said. We will also continue to operate highly vaccinated cruises with a vaccinated population greater than society. This continues to exempt kids 12 and under. We will also welcome unvaccinated guests over 12 
and guests with a certificate of recovery within 90 days to travel, keeping in mind our ships will typically sail with an 80% plus vaccinated guests on board. And maybe that's where some of the confusion is coming from. What that kind of points to is that, yeah, Royal Caribbean may start allowing more unvaccinated passengers on board, up to around 20% of the cruise passengers booked on that ship. And I think that's probably what they're going to look at or possibly release for the protocols after the 14th. But just again, to clarify, that does not mean that Royal Caribbean has done away with the vaccination requirements. That doesn't mean that that is going away. That simply means they're going to begin the transitioning process of allowing more unvaccinated passengers to sail and at some point down the road, the vaccination may not be required. It may not be necessary to cruise or sail, but that is not something that has happened today. That is not something that is happening in a week. And it's probably going to be something that happens possibly next year. That's just a guess, just an estimation, it's pure speculation. I have no proof, no facts, no evidence. It's just kind of what I think is going to happen. And what you're going to see the cruise lines do is begin to gradually allow a larger percentage of unvaccinated to sail on board the ships until it reaches that point. But again, to clarify, Royal Caribbean has not lifted the vaccination requirement. That is the biggest, largest takeaway from this video. I want to stop the spread of that misinformation. Now, keep in mind, all of this also applies to celebrity cruise lines. They are also lifting the testing requirements for sailings that are five nights or less. However, the caveat to celebrity is they don't have a set date on. So theirs isn't the 8th through the 14th. Theirs is until further notice. So whatever changes are coming on the 14th may only be for Royal Caribbean themselves and not for celebrity, but we won't really know anything until Royal Caribbean actually releases those protocols. As soon as they do, as soon as we get that information, we will of course share it with you. That way we all know. I just want to make sure that it is factual information getting out there. We all are on the same page. We all know the truth. And look, if you see people spreading misinformation, I highly advise you to just ignore them. Don't pay attention to it. If you have any questions, contact the cruise lines. I will answer every question I possibly can. And if I don't know the answer, I'm not going to make the answer up. But honestly, at the end of the day, the best source of information, questions that you have on health and safety protocols is going to be reach out to the cruise lines directly. All right. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. Have yourself a great day. And like always, we will see you out on the high seas.